My name is uh, Sarah Kedrew. Uh, I'm an astronomer and instrument scientist with the European Space Agency. I support one of the instruments uh, on board the uh, James Webb Space Telescope, which is uh, NASA's big flagship astrophysics space telescope. Uh, and so I'm based in Baltimore, Maryland in the United States. Um, I have a degree from UCL in astronomy. Uh, I did both my undergraduate MSI degree uh, in astronomy at UCL and then also my PhD in physics. Um, I started at UCL in 1997 and graduated with my PhD in 2006, so I spent a long time there. I, I wasn't always very interested in space or science as a child. I, I loved reading, uh, you know, history and I was a real bookworm. Uh, but I did also love kind of gazing at the stars and reading about the constellations and then looking them up in the sky. Um, so then as a teenager, you know, I was really excited to realize that this is actually a thing you can study at university. And I became very excited about that and decided that that was the path uh, I wanted to take. I ended up working as an undergraduate with uh, a young lecturer who's, who's now a professor at UCL uh, in a more kind of practical project where I was building uh, some hardware. I also loved working with telescopes during my undergraduate years. Uh, and then I decided that I wanted to do that for my, uh, for my PhD and my research project. Um, I love the fact that it was uh, very varied work. It's not just sort of pure research and analyzing data. Uh, you get to do some of that, but you also get to build things in the lab and do things you know, with your hands. And so it's an incredibly kind of uh, mixed and uh, fun area to work in. So there's all the classic milestones of, you know, graduating from undergraduate degree and definitely getting my PhD was a really proud moment because PhD is a hard work. Uh, and so getting to the end of that journey is, you know, is always a really uh, fun and special moment. Um, I've also had the opportunity to work on some really exciting projects, the James Webb Space Telescope. Uh, I have worked on it for over a decade in four different countries now. Uh, so that's been uh, a really big, uh, a really big, big and long road in my career. And uh, I'm, that is definitely one of the, the proudest moments of my career, for sure. Uh, in the past, in, uh, when I worked in Germany, I also worked on uh, an instrument for uh, telescopes in South America, in Chile, that uh, has been producing the most incredible science. Um, in the in in the last couple of years, and so uh, and actually the the 2020 Nobel Prize was awarded to a scientist uh, who made use of the data from that instrument. I think a really big part of um, uh, of, of this career that I've faced is dealing with failure, um, and so you have to really learn how. Uh, you know, I've had to really learn how to how to deal with that. The thing that I really try to work on is the mindset that, you know, failure is kind of essential to learning and growing in yourself. You know, you have to kind of learn to keep faith that you are actually asking the right questions, working on the right things, and that these failures uh, kind of def don't define you as a person. A lot of careers can be very tough, particularly if they're male dominated and you're going to be, you know, in a minority uh, and they're going to be failures along the way. And um, I was always a person who liked taking on challenges alone and I'm incredibly independent. Uh, but I've really learned that you need that support structure around you. You know, you need people who are going to uh, celebrate your successes with you and who are going to lift you up and who are, going, who are going to be supportive of you when you have a bad day or when, when something goes badly. I think it is still challenging to be a woman in the workplace, um, particularly in fields that are very male dominated. Uh, a lot of science, engineering, technology jobs uh, are still heavily dominated by men at the top. There obviously have been has been a lot of improvement and there are a lot more women uh, in those workplaces. A big part of it is that there are still a lot of preconceived notions about women, you know, what what we want in life and what matters to us. And that means that it can be quite hard to get access to the same kind of support and advice and opportunities. 
um, as our male colleagues. People's qualities are often also discussed in very gendered terms. And uh, in science in particular, the kind of qualities that are usually uh, quoted as being needed to kind of be this incredibly successful big shot scientist are almost exclusively assigned to men. Uh, and I think that is definitely a reason why uh, women still have trouble getting to those highest levels um, in uh, science. But it's also, you know, a cultural thing and I think something that we have to uh, be aware of in ourselves and in others and kind of challenge it also when we see it.